Afternoon cactus people. Uh, today we're having a quick look around the shop tunnel. Um, it's a bit sunny occasionally today from behind the clouds so I'm going to have to work my way backwards so the sun doesn't get directly in the lens so bear with me. Uh, what we're looking at now is the grapevine which um, the cactus share the tunnel with. Uh, this is planted outside the tunnel and um, the stem comes through and the, the grapes grow on the inside. But that's not the main reason for today. Uh, this part, this is my looking after section. This is where I give things a bit of attention that need uh, a bit more care, a bit more watering, a bit more checking to see what's going on. So all sorts of things going on here. We've got a few um, peanut cactus hybrids just about to come into flower here. These um, Shamacerus alba, which um, by the sounds of it should have white flowers. They're just about to open on these ones. These are cuttings I did last year. And a few Apuntias in there. A ferrocactus that had a bit of damage during the winter, but um, I was just about to throw it out, but it's still alive, even though half the um, lower part is rotted away so I'm just keeping that. That will stay in the collection rather than being for sale. And here's some Echinocactus grusonii. One of these, I've grown all these from seed, but one of them appears to be the white spine variety which uh, is a bit unusual. And coming away from that, down here also is the uh, looking after not quite ready for sale section. Uh, Mrs. Ziggs has been potting away here. A lot of these were just in small seed trays that needed um, potting up until recently. She's done a marvellous job here. And here we have various things. <coughs> some things need potting up, some need looking after. And under the bench also. There's a bunch of cuttings in grits and a few things that had a bit of cold damage last year. We need a bit of special attention. Uh, all in all, this section is the not for sale section. Oh, the sun's coming out, so I'll take the camera the other way. And over here, these are all the cactus we've got for sale at the moment. Look down there, all of this side. Closer look. These are some of um, Cacti Mania Daz's Calanchos. They're doing lovely. And various uh, Fiopuntias, some unknown Mammalarias. Don't know what these are, uh, but I've been growing them on and they've just started to flower. These also. I've got these as very small plants that have been growing on them. They're probably Mammalaria bombacina, but just not sure yet. And some Rebutias at the back there. Some Echinocereus. Parodias. Echinopsis. And some more punches. Another big section here. A few succulents as well. And these are the Peronias that are just about big enough to sell now. And there's even a few of them that have got some um, first ever flower buds. They'll be opening in a, a week or so. And these Mammalaria Bocasanas. Lovely little flowers on these. Beauty has just come into flower as well. Yes, yeah, so all of these are available for sale on the website. Although these aren't, because uh, I doubt if anyone will want to pay for the postage on these. These um, Echinocactus grusonii I've been growing on. 
larger specimens here. Again, these are for sale, but uh, it's a lot easier if people collect these rather than trying to package them up. And there was another Mammalaria boccasana here until uh, a week or so ago, which uh, one of our viewers, Just Fades, bought the uh, sister one to this. And she sent me a picture of it, and it's looking lovely in its new home. And over here, the peanut cactus. These are probably four years old now, I would think, the uh, tra um, pots of these. Uh, they're not all coming into flower at once because we've got shade netting on and uh, it's not getting all the sun at once here. So it sort of staggers the flowering a bit. And these ones just about to come into flower. And some nice little handy planters that Mrs. Leakes bought me the mould for for Christmas. I've been making a few of those. And these Mammalaria gracilis. A lot of very small flowers on these. And some more peanut cactus in the corner. Which, uh, these are flowering a bit more because they get the direct sun through the um, polythene at the end of the tunnel. The shade netting is only over the top. And <coughs> we're sharing this year with um, tomatoes and courgettes. Uh, you never know what's not going to be available in the shops at the moment. Some of these courgettes will be going out onto the plot. Uh, a few of them are outside tomatoes. These tomatoes are um, called Manx Marvel. They're uh, not available in the shop. I've been growing those from um, seed we've got for about 10 years or more now, I think. They're uh, an outside tomato, but it's not been very nice for putting things outside this year, so they'll be going out shortly. But I digress, you didn't come to look at veg. And over here, this planter, I just stuck, it did have some ginger in, but I think the ginger died off um, during the winter, so I'll put some peanut cactus in instead. And over here, this is an orchid, I've forgotten the name, Symbidium, I think, uh, which hasn't ploughed this year, but uh, it's still looking well enough. So there we have it. I'll do another video when uh, a few more things are in flower. But thank you for watching today everyone.